some of the most popular gameplay videos around here of late have been Salvage, and one of the questions often asked is when the Salvage panels will feature. Well, today is the day for all of those commenters. Salvage panels form a very cheap and profitable way to run Salvage in Star Citizen, and so it's about time to grab some on this channel. I'm Farrister, and this gameplay video shows filling up a vulture with RMC from Salvage panels. Some parts of the footage have been sped up to keep the overall length of the video down, and those parts are clearly marked as such, but otherwise this is the full gameplay session from start to finish. So let's get started. And as with many, we'll start by spawning in the Vulture and heading to the hangar bay to pick it up. I feel like you've seen a few of these types of videos by now, so I'm showing this in times 12 speed from the start whilst we get where we're going. There are lots of places to find the salvage panels, but Lagrange points tend to be very, very convenient locations, so we're going to head out to Michael 2 and search for our first set there. Heading across to Mike L2A, and we're in and amongst the asteroids, so it's time to start pinging away. We're back into times one speed for this because I'm conscious that some of you will appreciate seeing the method to the madness with using the scanning system. And immediately we found something which has an RS signature of 2000. That nice round number indicates to me that this is probably a single, single salvage panel, so we'll go and investigate. The salvage panel has now disappeared from view, so that's my cue to slow down a little bit, and there it is. Unfortunately, it's not the more exciting type of salvage panel. And the fact that it's on 3% suggests that somebody has been here already and done some salvage. Once again, we've got a 16% panel, which is indicative of the fact that somebody has probably already been here. So, rather than waste time on some half salvage panels, or more than half salvage panels, we'll move on and go back to the search. So for salvage panels, as opposed to salvage contracts, the big challenge is just that, a little bit like mining, you have to find your own haul and so you do end up with this mechanic of flying around and searching for a little bit to find a good set of panels to be able to salvage. So we're back into times 12 speed while I'm doing those searches, and basically all that's happening here is just looking at that RS signature on the right hand side and looking for a nice round number that could indicate the presence of salvage panels. And that'll do. 14,000 is highly indicative that this is salvage panels. So we'll increase the scan piercing, which will give a little bit more detail. And you can see all the little pips have now dropped onto the screen. And so the trick is to keep pinging away to get a good view of where those pips are. That'll be where the salvage panels will be. And then slowly fly towards them. One of the good tips that I got from Viking Lord in the org is once those pips disappear, once you get close enough that the pips just vanish, slow down to a crawl so that you don't accidentally fly into a salvage panel. So as those pips have now disappeared, that's what we're doing. We'll slow right down to a crawl and give a chance for those panels to spawn in and figure out where they are. Still just pinging away until I can see something that is ready to salvage. You almost have to hold your nerve when you get to this point to know that you've 
you've done the right thing. <laughs> it's just going to take a moment until you can see what you're looking for. And there we have the first panel spawned in. And they're 100%, so these have not yet been salvaged. Now these these types of panels, these I don't know if they're old wings or something like that. Um, I really like the square panels, there's something quite satisfying about the square panels, but that's something to get started with. I'm just happy to have panels. The fact that there was 14,000 signature here means that there are going to be plenty of panels around, so I'm not worried about running out of materials in this place. So some of you will notice that I'm using the double abraid scraper module. That's what I tend to use for my other salvage missions as well. Be interested to know in the comments actually, is that what you would recommend for grabbing the RMC from panels? For me it's a nice balance between speed and diameter and efficiency, but there may be some of you out there who feel differently when you're salvaging panels versus a ship be interesting to read. So we're already starting to fill up the hopper here on the Vulture, two SCUs in there. The goal for this outing is to fill up the Vulture completely, and by fill up completely I mean 36 SCUs of RMC. 36 of RMC is just over 500k, so it's a pretty nice chunk of money, and there'll be 12 on the cargo grid, 11 on the floor, not on the cargo grid, and then 13 in the hopper, ready to be ejected. That's the plan, anyway. Down to 40% left on this first panel, 2.5 RMCs in the hopper. Now, the beauty of this method when compared to taking a salvage contract is we paid zero Alpha UEC to get to this location. Arguably, you could say you've paid the quantum fuel costs, but I haven't paid them yet, so we'll say we paid zero. There's no contract cost, there's no money to recoup that you have to do. This is pure speculative profiteering. So we're looking for something, we've found something, and what we found should be able to sell. So it is profit in the purest term. Down to about 8% on this panel. Just grabbing the last little bits that it lets us. And that's the first four SCUs. Now these panels are, they're not my favourite, I really like the square panels, they're just very satisfying. Now I've read somewhere that it's good etiquette once you've finished salvaging your panel to shoot it away into space, so that's exactly what I've been doing, but I can't quite remember why, so if you know the answer to that question you can let me know in the video comments too. I think many of you know me by now, if somebody says it's good etiquette to do this, then I just want to be a good citizen, so I do it. This salvage panel here seems to have a little bit more meat on the bones. Growing our RMC in our hopper for us. So the Vulture is obviously the smaller amongst the salvage ships in game. You could have rolled up here with a Reclaimer, and in fact many do roll with the Reclaimer. Um, there are advantages to doing that, so first off your Reclaimer has a huge cargo hold. So whereas here we're targeting 36 SCUs of RMC, that would completely fill up the Vulture. Clearly for the Reclaimer that would barely even scratch the surface. So the advantage of bringing in a Reclaimer is that you can just have so much more with you. 
The other alternative is if you've got a, a friend who fancies coming along and doing something similar, you can tag team either a couple of vultures or a vulture with a cargo ship, like a, I don't know, a C1 Spirit, one of my favourites. Um, ultimately, the main limiting factor here on the vulture is not its capability to salvage, it's just the onboard storage, 36 SCUs, which is still half a million RMC, it's not awful. Um, but clearly if you can extend that quite significantly with a cargo ship like a you know, a Spirit, which is just shy of 100, uh, that would be quite significant. since I know somebody's going to make the comment, by the way, 100 SUs is a C1 Spirit plus a Vulture. And there's the second panel done. Good manners, shoot it away. So we're up to 8 SCUs of RMC already, so that's a good chunk of money that can go into the bank. I'll speed up a little bit and do another one of these wing salvages. It does seem a lot nicer in times 12 speed, I have to say. Fire it away. And I've got enough RMC in the hopper now to actually think it's worth unloading the first 12 boxes. So that's exactly what's happening now. This is one of the few situations where I'm really happy using the auto eject functionality on the Vulture. I'm always a bit wary of it because I don't like the idea that boxes are coming out whilst you're still moving other boxes. It feels like pressure and I don't play Star Citizen for, for pressure. So I don't usually use it, but for this sort of situation where I've got a completely empty Vulture, I know I'm going to be filling it absolutely to the brim, so I don't even need to put everything on the cargo grid. Some of it needs to go off the cargo grid to one side. Actually having that auto eject is fine. As you can see, I'm really not struggling to keep up with the hopper at the moment. Get all these boxes loaded up nicely on and off the cargo grid here. I do wonder whether it would be a better or a worse experience in the Vulture if the walkway on the left was also cargo grid. So instead of just having the 12 SCUs of cargo grid, you've got all of the walkway as well. So that's what, 30, maybe 32? I guess the reason it's this way is so that it's clear that there is intended to be somewhere for you to be able to walk past and access the back ramp, but experienced Vulture pilots know that you don't need that because you can get out the front and get out the cockpit, so I don't know. Here we go, the final box. So that's our first 12 crates of RMC. Back up into the cockpit, do some more salvage. Now here's one of those big square panels that I was talking about. This is my favorite type of panel because you get quite a lot of RMC from it and it's quite conformal. So whereas with the, the wings, sometimes you're scrapping about here and there, a nice square is a very easy shape for somebody to salvage, so it's quite quite satisfying to slowly salvage away. Do you like the big square panels? We're up at 11.7 SCU. 
this one will put us just over 12. So it's time to go back down below decks and move some boxes around. Once again, I've moved this up to times 12 speed now. I feel like you've seen the process. Um, so you can see it again, but at a much faster speed so you can get a feel for what the, all of the gameplay is like. So at this point I've got 23 SCUs in the hold, I've got 12 on the grid and 11 not on the grid. Um, I suppose I could have put out another box just to leave it out of the hopper. And more salvage here. So I think at this point we'll just fill up the hopper with as much salvage as we can get our hands on and then head back to sell up. There we are, 13 SCUs in the hopper. We'll head back to Microtech. So this has been less than an hour, which I think is pretty reasonable. Less than an hour to fill up 36 SCUs of RMC. Head into New Babbage to come and land a ship. And very, very gingerly. You don't see it in times 12 speed, but when you're carrying 36 SCUs of cargo aboard, you are very careful when coming into land, I can assure you. Here we are to sell up the first lot of RMC. So from departing to getting back here to the terminal was just over one hour, one hour and one minute. So we're here with our 500 SCUs, 500 SCUs, 500 Alpha UEC worth of SCUs of RMC in just over an hour, which is not bad going. So now we've got all of that cargo in the hopper. We're gonna head back to the ship to sell up in the hopper. Many of you might say, well, you could have just parked outside rather than going to the spaceport. And you're kind of right, but I've had a lot of bad experiences of parking outside and the ship just exploding. Um, and I didn't want that to happen, so we'll go back. Now, here's a challenge that I've not experienced for a while, which is because I'm in the armistice zone, it's not letting me move the boxes. Now this has really confused me as to why that is. So I moved it out of the hangar to see if that helped. And no, still an armor stone, can't move boxes. I'm sure that I've been able to move boxes within a hangar bay, this patch. I'm sure there are videos on this channel of me and the reclaimer doing exactly that. So I've got no idea why the game wasn't letting me, but I just flew out beyond the realms of the um, Armistice Zone and then was able to load up all the boxes onto the cargo grid. Sadly that has significantly added the length of time to this session. So it was an hour to get back to the trading terminal. This moving away, juggling the boxes around, moving back added another half an hour almost to the session which was very unfortunate but um, that's the way it goes I suppose. Still, if I'd taken out a reclaimer, if I'd brought a cargo ship with me, that time would have been significantly reduced. So here we are, heading back up to the commons to sell up in times 12 speed. Back down to regular speed for selling. And there we've got our final 13 SCUs of RMC. And that brings our total to 523,420 Alpha UEC. So not a bad haul, and especially for the Vulture, that's a pretty decent way to be earning money. If you enjoyed this video, you might press the like button to let me know I should make more similar videos. 
And if you're not yet subscribed, given that you got this far, you probably want to do that too so that YouTube will know to show you more videos like this in future. But otherwise, and as always, thank you for watching.